This one's a little different, so let's just get it open and let's get started. <laughs> are the coffee mugs I got. I hope these aren't too big. Let's hope that my skills either improve enough to make a good cup of espresso or that my taste is so bad that I think it tastes really good. I feel like those are both best case scenarios. Okay, got the scooper and the do they call it a damp, clamp, stamp, ramp? All I want to think is what, cut, should, hut, uh, good, mug, good, good. Oh God. If you think I won't return this, if it's awful, you're wrong. I love returning stuff. It's, it's like free money. money. I know this is called a port filter. She did her research. Here is what she looks like straight out of the packaging. Not gonna lie, one of the main factors I was looking at when I was trying to pick one was would it look decent on my counter? I feel like stainless steel can't go wrong. Okay, I'm gonna get all of the stickers and whatnot off and then wash the water compartment and then the like little pieces it came with. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Aren't you so glad you came to me for a tutorial? Tutorial. Have the instructions. <laughs> they are on YouTube. And now I show the main part of the machine. So this is a slightly different model. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on. Yeah, it's going. I'm nervous. This is a different machine. Oh boy. I feel like it's gonna spew everywhere. It's not going to, right? I kept watching the video. It's a different model, but I'm assuming it's pretty much the same idea to clean the machine. And you really wanna lock it. I'm assuming that's good. Hope so. Hee <laughs> hee out the tray because you want like a pretty good sized cup because you want a lot of water to kind of wash through to clean it out. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna move the milk frother. There we go. All right, I'm gonna click make espresso. I'm really scared. I feel like it's gonna spew everywhere. Okay, we're cleaning it out. Good luck to me. This is one of the machines where it's not just gonna turn off by itself. You do have to click this button again, but he said you really want like a good amount of water to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so can I take this out first? No. Take it out together. Oh my God. Yeah! Technique. Technique. So if you watched my last video, this will be the coffee that I'm gonna use. This is a little bobber. Once this tray fills up with a bunch of water from, you know, excess dripping, cleaning out your milk frother, etc., the bobber will rise and poke through this hole to tell you to dump your water tray. <gasps> didn't send a picture with it. I just realized, I feel like it was in the picture of the machine. This is why you read the fine prank, guys. Take a quick intermission. Everything's clean. We're gonna try to make our first cup. Ooh, I have no idea how much. There's definitely, hello? Focus. There's definitely a certain grammage you need, but, oh, 
Sounds like a lot of work. I've seen people kind of like take their fingers and then they just kind of level it. I'm just gonna try to press straight down, kind of a twirl, back and forth. And I'm gonna pull straight up. Did I get the max line? Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. Every video I have watched, they're very adamant you need to clean the sides and the sides cannot have grounds on them. I feel like it's a little uneven, so I'm just gonna go in one more time. That looks pretty good, I think. Below the max line, but like, I feel like that I'm comfortable with that for my first one, you know? Okay, I'm nervous. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's pretty warm. He said you really want it on there. Good. Okay, I strong armed it a little bit. Oh, so this cup is definitely way too big. Two options. Is this also too big? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> a glass it is. Oh my God, everything I have is too big. I'm gonna take the tray out. I'm just gonna have to get smaller glasses. There's no freaking way I'm going back out right now. I do like this and I feel like you are kind of supposed to have something with measurements on it. I feel like that would be wise. So fuck it, I'm gonna just take my damn tray out. This bobber thing's in the way so I am a little nervous that we're gonna get some spillage. I might just have to hold it. That seems sketchy. What if I get splashed? Hold on. Protection. Okay, I have a towel just in case it does try <laughs> to splash me. I'm gonna give it just a minute. I wish I could listen to music, but YouTube doesn't like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's so Oh my god, it's beautiful! Has the layer of like, oh god, what are they? Cream, crema, whatever they call it. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, it's running pretty thin, so I don't want it to get super watery, so I'm gonna pull it. Okay, this is so unnecessary. <laughs> it's nice and hot. You guys, look at it. It's like a perfect four ounce. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. All right, I'm gonna keep it in there. This could be so bad, but I'm just, to keep it warm, I'm just gonna put the little cap back on it while I steam the milk. Marie says, I'm sorry if that's bad, if you need to let it breathe. I am an idiot. I'm just like constantly. All right, I did read that whole milk is the best frothing. All right, I'm gonna click the milk frothing so that it'll start warming up. It's gonna make me scared, so I'm gonna go fast. Okay, but I'm gonna aim for about a third of the way. Move you guys back over here so you can watch the action. I have also heard that the easiest way is to kind of line it up with the spout. It is short. Is this as long as it gets or does it extend? Nope, I think that's as long as it gets. Okay. <laughs> I have my wet cloth ready to clean the frother when it's done. So we're gonna give it a try. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh. All right, definitely not keeping the milk moving, but that's fine, it's my first try. Oh my god, I feel like if baristas watch this, they would freak out right now. Uh, of course they are. It's all foam. <laughs> oh boy. So today's latte art, I did a mushroom. 
Apparently, I've never been on live television before. It's pretty advanced. Don't feel bad if you don't get it your first try. It smells really good. It smells like coffee. <gasps> I'm nervous. Let's try it. What if it's really bad? Mm. Okay. It's a little bitter. Or is that just espresso? I really like it, but I feel like some people would think it's bitter. Honestly, I'm sweating. That was very scary. I'm sweating. So glad I have this hot coffee. I think it's good. See you when I try it next. It's good, but it needs to be sweeter. Okay, good. I was scared it was gonna be too sweet. Time. <gasps> oh my god. I know what I'm doing. All right, last little disclaimer. I'm clearly not a professional. I watched a lot of videos. I'll link the channels that I watched below as well as all of the products. I did get this guy on Amazon for $99. Uh, final review, I would say nine and a half out of 10. I wish the spout for the frothing was just like a couple inches longer, but get the little pitcher and you're good to go. So first is going to be how to clean your machine the first time and then also how to maintain the cleanliness what will be needed if you purchase this espresso machine from Amazon, AKA what's not included and what I think is helpful and things you'll need for your latte. And then lastly, just a step-by-step -step of how to use the machine, what buttons to press when, etc. Anyway, I digress. If you are a viewer who just jumped to the cliff notes, then hello, welcome. Those of you who maybe didn't wanna watch me struggle for like 15 minutes, totally fair. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoy or find it helpful. I definitely recommend this espresso machine. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It means a lot. But yeah, enjoy the cliff note. When you first open it, you're gonna wanna slide this out. It's just like a Keurig. This back part lifts up and just comes right over. Warm soap and water. Fill it up with your filtered water. Slide it back in its place. Gonna wanna wash this. And then you're gonna wanna wash your porta filter and of course your basket. I feel like it goes without saying, wash this after every use. Make sure you're separating the two because you don't want any funky stuff growing in between the layers. You can see this notch right here. It lines up with this knob. That's where you'll insert and then just give it a little turn just to make sure it's locked in place. All right, how you clean your machine the first time is gonna be the same as how you clean your machine regularly to keep it nice and clean. Go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna wait for the green light to come on, then we'll run some hot water through it. Since you want a pretty good sized mug to get a sizable amount of water out, I'm gonna take the tray out. And you can tell that I've been using this machine because I do have a fair bit of spillage, which is just another great point. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and clean it. All right, she's cleaned out. I'm gonna take my nice big mug and you're gonna hit the making espresso button. All right, I'm gonna hit the making espresso button again to make it stop. I'm gonna dump this and do it one more time. Now that we've cleaned where the espresso comes out, we're gonna hit the milk frothing button and we'll purge some steam just like we do after every use. The frothing light is green. I'm gonna use a mug just in case and put it on full steam. And boom, done. Seriously though, every time you froth milk, right after when the wand is still nice and hot, you're gonna wanna give it a good wipe down. If you wait too long, it will harden to the spout and just make it that much harder to clean. One major, major thing that I discovered, this is something that if it is left untouched for too long, it's gonna be really, really disgusting. This piece comes right off and you can see the top white piece is rubber but that is all milk. Like I said, that was metal covered in dried milk. 
and it dries really fast. As far as this piece, I'll show you what I do. If you purchase metal straws or reusable straws, you probably have like seven of these. This is exactly what I use to clean out the center of this piece. All right, that's really all there is to it. And just so the stainless looks pretty, I like to give it a nice little wipe down with the damp cloth after every use. We've all seen the pictures of the nasty filters on a Keurig if you don't clean it regularly or properly, so don't do that to this guy either. There is also a warming tray on the top. Because it does warm up so quickly, I don't think it's super necessary, but it is a nice touch if you feel like you need it. A small pitcher, mine is 350 milliliters. Something smaller than this glass, but you do need a small glass for the espresso shots. A ground espresso blend. Extremely fine, super powdery, almost like sand. If not, a good whole bean. And a quality grinder that'll give you the same result. Whole milk or a milk of your choice. As an example, this is a really delicious oat milk barista edition, which means it steams and pours beautifully. The porta filter, the scooper, the tamper all come with the machine. If you like the sweet coffee, your favorite syrup. Then, of course, a nice mug to put your final product in. I like the glass because. Obviously you can see what's going on underneath. It probably should be a little bit smaller and with a nice wide opening if you're interested in trying latte art at some point. First, of course, we'll start with turning the machine on. And there we go, we're ready to go. I'm just gonna scoop an appropriate amount of espresso grounds, just a few good taps on the counter, and you're ready to pack it in. Make sure it finds the center. I'm just gonna go straight down. Below that max line, so we're good. Just gonna clean the edges with this little brush. All right, insert it in, and you're gonna turn all the way. You'll feel a click where it kind of budges, and that means it's all the way locked, and you're good to go. I'm gonna take out my tray. But for now, this will do. We're gonna hit the top button, making espresso. As you saw, just another reminder, it's not gonna turn off for you. You do have to turn it off by hitting the making espresso button again. I've gotten in the habit of just going right ahead and clicking the milk frothing button so that it'll start to raise to that temperature because we're gonna wanna start frothing the milk pretty much as soon as possible. I stop whenever I notice that it's starting to thin out quite a bit and it'll look like there's only a tiny little bit, but it'll start rising. I'm making a vanilla latte, so I'm gonna go ahead Add a couple small splashes of my syrup. Then pour your espresso into your mug. When it comes to frothing your milk, I prefer to pull it out towards me on the counter so that I have a little more control and a better view of the frother. Pull it out to the side, pour about a third of the pitcher. This does allow this shorter spout to reach all the way down in from the beginning. Straight from the get-go, we're gonna go all the way full steam. Get your wet rag, give it a nice good wipe, purge your steam. A few good taps. Boom, done.